All right, what we're looking here at is a L298N stepper motor board. It's good for a couple of amps on a uh, stepper motor. You will find variations of this all over eBay, and I have a section on these particular parts on my website, which will be linked into the page. So let's note what we have here. Uh, one motor winding out there, one motor winding out here. The one I'm using here in the demo is a little different than this, but they're basically the same. There's your uh, diodes that's used to suppress transient. There's your L298N. Over here is your four inputs, and they jumpered both of the enables to 0.5. Like I said, there's variations of this out there, but they all work pretty much the same. All right, here's the wiring diagram using the easy driver connected to an L298N board. Now, let's note here a couple of things. Of course, we're using, this is your typical four-wire or six-wire or even eight-wire hookup if you want to use it for this. Um, let's note a couple of things of importance. 5 volts VCC, uh, I believe most of these have a 5 volt regulator on the board and generates its own 5 volts. Don't use that 5 volts for driving anything else. It's more designed to drive, to drive the L298N chip. Note over here on Easy Driver, this is important for this, and I'll tell you why momentarily. Take the motor power and the 5 volts out. Tie both of them to the 5 volts VCC. There's a couple of reasons why I did that in my particular demo. You may, but it's vital that you, for a reason the four, the N1 through 4 on the L298N, which is what uh, the motor power connection is going to feed, is 5 volts in. If you stick this on 12 volts or something, uh, you're going to blow the L298 in, and that's the end of it. You're going to have to replace it. So make sure both of these go on ahead and tie to plus VCC. Now, what you could do, say you're putting in... Uh, no, there's no, way you can, there's no way you can do it. As far as the motor voltage goes, if you need 12 or whatever volts to run your motor, that's fine. Note something that's very important that a lot of these people are not really telling you. If you have a unipolar stepper motor that operates, for instance, at 5 volts, and you operated in the bipolar mode like this, with your two center taps would have been hanging here if I bothered to draw them in, you'll have to double your motor voltage. Think about it. In the case of my motor, when I ran it like this, it's 5.1 volts per phase. When I put them in series, I would need 10.2 volts. 12 volts is pretty close. But I'll put the 12 volts here on the motor voltage. This can go to 5 or be left hanging in this case. If, for instance, I'm running, uh, by some chance, you put two motor windings in series to do this, and it comes out to 5 volts, then you'll need to ch change that, or connect that to the regular VCC in the rest of the circuit where I'm running the Arduino. Over here on this side again, this connects to my Arduino pins. Uh, here is my uh, table on MS1 and MS2. A low and a low gives me a full step, high, low, half step, low high quarter step and two highs eighth step when you put if you don't connect those two pins to something and you leave them hanging just hanging as the board comes out of the wrapper they're going to be tied high through some pull up resistors and you will be uh, doing one eighth step what does that mean very simple if this motor over here is a 1.8 degree that's going to require 200 steps 
to go 360 degrees. If you're sitting here automatically defaulting to eighth step, well, what's 200 times 8? 1600. To go 360 degrees, you're going to have to have 1600 steps. So be aware of that. Now, let's go see the video with this actually operating. Welcome back. Um, we're still playing with the uh, Easy Driver. This time, though, I've replaced the transistor driver board with an L298N bipolar stepper motor driver board. As where before, I operated this particular motor in the uh, unipolar configuration. Now I'm operating it in the bipolar configuration. Using an easy driver with these uh, two designs, if you know how to hook it up correctly, you don't. One does not have to deal with optocouplers or extra circuitry. It's a direct connection. Again, it's as you see, it's going 360 degrees, and like before, uh, it's being programmed for. Uh, Full step, it takes 200 steps. Half step, it takes 400 steps to go 360 degrees. Quarter step, it takes 800 steps to go uh, 360 degrees. And of course, one eighth step takes 1600 iterations to do 360 degrees. Um, this has been running for several minutes. And this is a five, this is all five volts. Um, I have a five volt power supply off to the side, but the nice part about it is the motor is cool. The driver chip on the board is cool, and I'm able to switch the uh, outputs on and off at will. And you just can't get any easier than this. So visit my website, I'll put the technical information up and how to wire it to do this. And it's not, and it'll work on um, stepper motors, of course, higher than 5 volts. It just takes removing, if you're going to use a higher voltage stepper motor, all you got to do is remove this one jumper between 5 volts and motor, motor and uh, you're ready to fly.